Hello and uh, welcome to my reaction to episode 6 of Sonic Gas Say You. Uh, yeah, last episode, uh, Ichigo got a wall as a mascot character, I guess, some bug mascot character in a game. Uh, and she ended up doing a live event with a bunch of other CU. Um, one winner CU, uh, Yui, Yu, Yui Odie. Um, so yeah, we basically saw that when she's on stage and uh, for magazines and stuff like that, she's a totally different person as to when she's uh, outside of uh, the limelight, you know. She's a pretty normal looking person that you wouldn't expect uh, being this ultra great singer, idol, model, that kind of stuff. Uh, yeah, that's what happened more or less. I don't remember if there was anything else. Oh yeah, at the end, uh, they finally gonna have their first song as a as an idol unit. Um, the producer gave them a CD. So yeah, let's get into this episode six. Uh, as always, you know that when uh, this episode six comes out on YouTube public, that means episode seven is available on Patreon, early access one week. So yeah, uh, kiss anime version. There is no kiss anime intro. Let's get into this in three, two, one. Gonzo. Oh, it's opening right away. That six music video filming, really? Well, I guess yeah. They're really going around. Well Fair enough. I mean, one thing I don't like about the idol culture is uh, that the city they sell usually don't have much. They only have uh, like one or two songs, and then you've got like a current a karaoke version and an instrumental version, and uh, maybe some kind of like uh, audio track of the voice actress talking or something like that. Cool. So yeah, I don't really like the CD that, uh, that uh, yeah, they sell usually, because compared to an actual 
music CD where it's like an album, you know, there's uh, like a 10, 10 original tracks, you know, and yeah. I've never really uh, listened to Jama City. I've listened to clip. I think there was some uh, girls and pumps the Jama City clip on YouTube. Someone just said. Yeah, and yeah, we just see. I know Lily Kugimia from the name, but once again, on top of my head, I can't actually. Uh, tell you who she was actually her voice it sounds extremely familiar She's definitely um, from the Idol Master. I don't remember her name, even though I really like her. I'll have to hold off until the episode is over to look it up. It's really one of the the problem with doing reaction is that I can't actually pause. Let me try to quickly look it up. Ioli, I think. From I don't master. Okay, now I get it. Kagula from uh, Gintama. I'm really bad at recognizing uh, voice most of the time. I mean, like for Futaba, uh, she's voiced by Rieta Kayashi, but I didn't get it right away. I didn't uh, recognize her right away, even though she's my favorite voice actress. Yeah, it's not unusual for the cast of a drama CD to not actually be used when they do the anime. Especially if they use some really uh, unknown and voice actor like that. When they actually make an anime, they, they will try to use some more well-known voice actor. That makes sense. So yeah, there's a chance she's not picked up for the anime version, I think. Yeah, 
and don't uh, pre-shot things. You need to be sure of something before, yeah. Alright, quit the stereotype, but whatever. <laughs> what? Yeah, okay. I guess they're not very well known now. I think so. Hmm, cozy digital. I wonder if it's a natural burn. Oh. oh well, is it what I think it is? Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. That's uh, very, how to say, convenient, but I guess now we need some drama, uh, internal strife to overcome. I guess she's, she's taking it bad, but I'd like to say it's not that big of a deal, but we need some drama.
don't. Manga collection stuff. You gotta take care of it. Okay. Okay, she's gonna see. She's working uh, a construction job, really. There's that, but there's more. Is she really gonna sulk like that? Is it true or just a... Uh... No, it's true. No, okay, she's laying. Doesn't look like uh, anything I know. Sure. Yeah. Bit of an overreaction, but whatever. That's true.
Yeah. That's a good way to put it. That's pretty true. Okay, I'm glad that uh, this is already more or less resolved. I was scared this was gonna go for at least uh, one more episode. But I think they're probably gonna fuck up the music video. Because they didn't really practice. No? Okay. They literally didn't practice together, but they're good. Okay. Once again, I get that this show isn't about uh, realistic uh, progression and stuff. It's more about showcasing uh, the industry. So we're doing some continuous stuff for the sake of that. I get it. news but that doesn't mean it's cancelled it will get up eventually so it's kind of fine all right not the karaoke ending this time Is that supposed to be uh, their song? Nah, that's okay. Not my thing. If we were talking about the idol group, I think I may have mentioned this before, but I'm a huge fan of the idol master. More of the original than the, than the Cinderella Girl project or the Million Live or all the other stuff. I mean, I love the original idol master girls. I actually have a okay, so no karaoke. Yeah. I actually have a folder on my PC. Let's see. 
I think I have a ton of fucking tracks. I don't remember how much. Um, also have some Bang Dream, Love Life, but definitely I don't master is my favorite. Yeah, 355 uh, track of uh, Idol Master music. So obviously I don't have only uh, the original. I have Cinderella Girls, Me on Live, uh, Puchimas, a bunch of stuff. But yeah, huge fan of the Idol Master. Uh, anyway, yeah, so Rie Kagamiya, she's Kagura, and let's see in the Idol Master. I don't remember her name, it pisses me off because I'm a huge fan of that character. I'm a huge fan of all the characters from the original uh, Idol Master series. Uh, I don't see. S. T. Uh, the Idol Master Minase Iori. Minase Iori. How the fuck did I forget? She's so fucking cute. Uh, anyway. What was the name of the earphone that they were having? Shit, I don't remember. I wanted to check that out. Let me skip through the episode and try to find it. Um, Cozy Digital. Let's see if it's a real brand. Cozy Digital. Okay, it's a brand, but not uh, an earphone brand. It's some kind of site to mm, to help you to help you uh, design a website. It seems okay, so it's probably not a real thing, just something they they came up with. Um, so yeah, uh, what can I say? That was an okay episode. Definitely not. Uh, I don't really like this forced drama too much because, like I said, uh, it's just a bit forced for the plot. Uh, I mean, for for showcasing uh, that kind of uh, of stuff that happens. I guess it would happen, but yeah, it was fine, but not my favorite episode. Definitely not. Uh. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.